Going to get a foul, though, called against O'Neal, who comes away limping. Already has a broken nose. Now she comes out of that scrum limping a bit, and she'll be replaced by be, Peyton Ruiz. It's going to be tough to keep the 5'10 senior out. I mean, when you finally make the state finals, you're going to get that thing looked at and get yourself back out there as fast as possible. Eastside prep started the game two of four, and now they've missed their last eight field goal attempts, and a lot of them have been pretty much at point-blank range. Aguilar. And a nine-point lead now for the Crusaders. Still a nice job of getting herself into the paint. Scoring drought stops as Zion Gabriel scores for Eastside prep. Pressure of Eastside Prep not affecting Village Christian at all. We're going to get a foul from. Well, going to be a travel. It was a beautiful pass inside by Katja Negrete. Just nice touch. Been working together all season long, and you just get that beautiful pass inside. And there, is there anything better than having a 6'4 post player to pass the ball to? No, especially when we're being defended by a 5'8. <laughs> long tray by Gabriel won't go, and Odima there for the rebound. And she's tied up immediately. It's the one time she brought the ball down. Yeah, and when you've been a small team all season long, if you see opportunities, you got to go grab it. And that's exactly what they do. Adima brings it down, and you're just saying, please, come and grab this thing. They've got to grab every opportunity they can. Open look this time for Bell, and it won't go. Went on all sides of the basket, but wouldn't go. Mahan gives him a second chance. That won't go. We're at the top. And a three-point try at the buzzer. Also comes up short. Tough first quarter for Eastside Prep. And at the end of the first period, it has been all Village Christian. They lead it by seven. It's a 15 to eight ball game. Eastside Prep just not getting shots to go down. They've had a lot of good looks, a lot of high percentage shots, just not happening so far for them. Seven point lead, Village Christian at the break. The 2016 Olympic Games, this summer from Rio. At Compare.com, we're always looking for ways to speed up your car insurance search. Here's the latest. Problem is, we haven't figured out how to reverse it. For now, just log on to Compare.com, plug in some simple info, and get up to 50 free quotes. Choose the lowest and hit purchase. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for an important function. Compare.com, saving humanity from high insurance rates. On CSN California. In Wade Ballgame, Village Christian over Eastside Prep after the end of the first period. You're looking at Coach John Sampang. He's in his sixth year, won 97 games against 75 losses in his career at Village Christian. 26 and 8 this year. They play in the Olympic League. They come out of Southern California. They were the eighth seed going into that tournament, came out a winner. And guess what? They got a seven point lead in the championship game. They defeated number nine to get here. They defeated number one, Flint Ridge Prep, to get here, and the number five seed to make it to their first state title game. Good look this time for McGuire, but she cannot get it to go. And the rebound down into the hands of Gabriel. This time putting it on the floor to the basket and drawing the foul was Alea Bell. It's got to be up tempo for this team. Puts it on the floor, little head and shoulder fake, and you can see the foul grabbing the arm. And like so much of this team, this is a sophomore, played here a year ago. I mentioned earlier, had 21 points against St. Joe in the game that got this team here. 10 points in the first quarter. 
Baron, that's called setting the table. I'll say. Has been nursing a leg injury. Looks solid today. First free throws of the game here to start the second quarter, and that reduces the Crusaders lead to five. Again, full court pressure. And they turn it over. And a foul over the top on Odima. Key thing when you're seeing pressure, you've got to go meet the ball. You can't wait for the ball to come to you. When you're playing a defense that's fired up and gets after it, they're moving towards it. You've got to move towards it as well. This is Tahafe. She really hasn't gotten started yet, but prolific scorer. Runs the show, good size, good strength. Gabriel got hit after she let the ball go, but no foul. And here come the Crusaders. Gabriel, the best three-point threat. They need to get her going. Give it up to Odima again. She just simply shot over Tahafe. She did a nice job of composing herself. Half a nice pass this time down low, and the turnaround will not go for Bell, and a foul underneath. Mercy, Odima working hard, good hands, and then the little step back. When you know you've got the size advantage, just rip it through, get the ball up, and takes her time, very calm. Really love the way Aguilar is running this team. Very under control. Just a sophomore. Again, down low. And Odima just comes up short, gets it back, and scores and one. She's got that move down. She misses the first, but stays with it. You must make sure if she misses one, you don't give her a second opportunity. The odds are not good. Already 10 points of her team's 19, and we're just in the middle of the second quarter. And a chance to make this a three-point play. And she does. Read an article about her daily schedule in Kenya, which was really regimented. She started every day at 4 a.m. and went all the way through to 10 p.m. So the start here today will not be bothersome. 5.30 practices, piece of cake. Time out here, Call, and I think this is kind of a stop the bleeding timeout called by Donovan Blythe. And I'm not sure what he can do. He's got a real matchup problem down low. Mercy Odima, as you said, 10 po 11 points now in the ball game. Just doing a nice job of controlling the paint. Every time she gets the ball, great touches inside, keeps her head up, locates where she needs to be. Really turns and faces so well, and nice follow through. And a turnover once again. This one's picked up by Kacho Negretti. Coming out of a timeout, that's the last thing you want. You really want to want to run a nice set, get a good look. Back up top now. 2-3 zone. Kacho Negrete for three. I mean, she's a 36 per th three point shooter. That's for real. Got beat back the other way, though, as Alea Bell lays it in. Hey, make Miss Steele. Eastside College Prep wants to run. They have got to get this tempo up. And Aguilar, really clearly the quarterback of this team, gets a nice screen from Odima, blows right by her, takes it all the way, comes up short. Fight for the rebound, she gets it back, Aguilar, that's Cacho Negrete, she can't get it to go, fourth chance won't go, got a fifth chance and a foul. But these misses are almost like assists because of the size differential. Draw, kick, corner, the lefty lines it up, and Cacho Negrete knocks down another one. And then it just turns into a rebounding drill till you can either get fouled or get one to go down. Kacha Negrete at the line. Yeah, they consider her a stretch four. She can really extend defenses with that great touch. Going to get a foul this time. I think they're going to get Odima fouling Tahafe. You 
you can see the body control, just way too much contact on that drive. And Called it on Peyton Ruiz, not on Adina. Gabriel to the basket, blocked by Odima. Trying to draw Odima high to open up the driving lanes low, but just reacts to the ball very well. Tahafe to inbound, finally finds Bell. Now Tahafe drives baseline, cut off by Odima. Bell comes across the lane and the shot and the miss by Mahan. Well defended again. Long pass is picked off this time by Zion Gabriel. And Eastside Prep will have another opportunity here. Gabriel, a great three-point shooter. They need to get her going. Bell, nice little jump stop and a lean in for the score. Once again, Cacho Negrete had to rush that one just a little bit. And the rebound comes down to Gabriel. Gabriel's going to push. Now she's got to wait for help. Need to get her some touches. A top open look this time for Mahan, but that comes up short. And Odima with another rebound. And going to get a reach in foul, I think, on number 11, Zion Gabriel. Dima follow the basketball, shot goes up, get to that opposite block, clear some space, and you're ready for your defensive rebound. Mina Tomilau comes into the ball game for Eastside Prep. Gabriel will leave. McGuire, now Aguilar. Nice job moving the basketball, make the zone move. Skip pass for Aguilar. Aguilar off the window, comes up short. It's going to be out of bounds to Eastside Prep. Better defensive possession for Eastside College Prep on that one. And we'll take a timeout. 3.59 remaining here in the second quarter. 25 to 14, Village Christian. Hi, can you help us with a tough shed storage building? Would you like something like this? That's perfect! Cool! Do you guys sell tough shed garages too? We sure do, and I can help. Great, thanks. Legendary tough shed quality plus the convenience of the Home Depot. Right now, choose three upgrades for free on installed Sundance Series sheds, plus no interest to pay it in full within six months on tough shed purchases of $299 or more. Every day, America prints about a half a billion dollars. Wow. Sadly, a whole bunch of those dollars are used to pay too much for car insurance. Luckily, there's e-surance. Born online, raised by technology, and majors in efficiency. Which saves dollars. And when they save, you save. So you can tell some of your dollars, good news, gang, we're going out for ice cream. Auto and home insurance for the modern world. E-surance. Backed by Allstate. Click or call. It's the guys from St. Bernard. They'll be playing later on this afternoon, watching Village Christian with an 11-point lead over Eastside Prep. This is the girls' Division Five championships. Just under four minutes remaining here in the second quarter. In the game so far, dominated by the Crusaders of Village Christian. Size been a big difference. It has some three-point shooting. They made two of those and just heads-up play, doing a nice job taking care of the basketball. And Aguilar's been right in the middle of that. Saw Bell go hard in the basket, had a good look, and just could not get it to fall. And that microcosm has been the story for Eastside Prep. Aguilar just running the show, getting people where she wants them. And had a good look for that, but it wouldn't drop, and the rebound down this time into the hands of Mina Tamelau. Opportunity to get it to single digits. They can put points up in a hurry once they get it going. That's Bell to the basket. Nice job. Again, they're able to draw the 6-4 post player high, and it opened up that driving lane so you don't have to worry about the shot getting blocked. Oh 
Peyton Ruiz this time. Yeah, Aguilar looked low, but right now the double team and Odima are dropping down as soon as she gets a touch. You really have to. Touch on the Gret Ape, tries baseline. Give it up this time, and the shot clock runs out. Good defensive set that time for Eastside Prep. Exactly right, and you need to build on that. You've done a good job. Next time down, you're going to feel a little more confident in that aggressiveness. Nice adjustment made by Donovan Blythe in that last time out. Going to get a reach in foul this time. A little too aggressive, Peyton Ruiz. This is where Tahafe's experience really shows through. She's strong. She protects the ball. Defense steps out, and she just knows how to create the contact and get to the free throw line. Shooting situation now, one and one. Gets the first. And suddenly an eight-point game. 58% free throw shooter. She's gone to the line more than anybody on this team, and you can understand why, the physical style of play. One out of two, but a second chance, and scoring off the window was Tahafe. And suddenly you're down six, and you're feeling the light at the end of the tunnel. Seven zero run now for Eastside Prep. Aguilar thought about it, had it knocked away, but it comes right back to McGuire. Tried to drop it down this time, and a travel. And that's really what you need to do. Start putting some doubt into the minds of the players of Village Christian and get them thinking about their dribbles and their passes and where they want to go with it. And right now, they've got Village Christian on its heels. You say College Prep has not made a three-pointer yet. Again, to the basket to Hafe. She's cut off nicely. And that's a travel. Just took that little stutter step. Normally happens when you're thinking a little too much instead of just going with what on, feels right. Turnovers, Village Christian has 11, Eastside College Prep, eight. Lots of turnovers. Yes. This is Ruiz. Cut off nicely by Tahafe. Now Aguilar. Aguilar with Bay right in her pocket. Yeah, but Bay is really working hard. And that time, two Eastside Prep players collided. The ball goes out of bounds to Village Christian. Well, they're just throwing themselves at that rebound with almost a desperate sense, like, we've got to go get it. Something to that. Gotcha, or rather, O'Neal back in the ball game. Good to see her back. Here's Odima once again. She draws a crowd. Give it up nicely to O'Neal, who scores. Everything works perfectly, but just not the size to defend. 